Have you ever wondered what deep space looks like through a small beginner sized telescope? Like this is Newtonian I got. This is a 400 millimeter by 500 millimeter Newtonian. And these have various price ranges, but you can get them for pretty cheap. But we're gonna be testing deep space with one of these beginner sized telescopes to see how good it really is and what you can really see. There are plenty of deep sky objects in the catalog for tonight. With all that being said, let's continue and let's get out there and see what we can see. We are going to find the Pleiades star cluster. It is in the constellation of Taurus. The Pleiades star cluster is a star cluster 444 light years away from Earth. There it is, right there. Dang. It's pretty. I tried to make it look like it does through the eye, but with the eye it looks better. Pretty daggone good. Moving on, we're gonna try the double cluster in uh, Perseus. The double star cluster in Perseus is two star clusters that are about 7,500 light years away. I just found a double cluster in Perseus. Wow, it's beautiful. It's like this, this really faint glow of a ball. Like, there's two of them, so they're like two glowing balls, and inside those glowing balls you can make out just tons of stars inside them. It is, it's quite beautiful. Deep space is going really well with just this beginner sized telescope. Like I said, this is 114 millimeter by 500 millimeter. Uh, and you can get a telescope this size for $100. Now we're going to move on to some other deep sky objects. Let's go to our nearest galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. Let's see what it looks like for this little thing. So, just finding the Andromeda Galaxy, I had it look almost straight up. It's really high up there, but uh, there's this really distinct oval shape. And the, you can't mistake it, there's this really intense glow. There's this really intense glow in the center of Andromeda Galaxy. And the, the rest of the glow that is faint goes across like the entire field of view with this thing. Uh, and I, it's, you might be able to make out some dark clouds in the galaxy with this thing. But you'll have to be in a moment of lucky atmospheric pressure to be able to see it. But, uh... You probably can. So I'm out here about an hour and a half later, and it's like negative 10 billion degrees out here. But the Orion Nebula is finally rose, and some more star clusters that I want to look at are uh, quite high in the sky. So we're going to be seeing these and see how good these look again through this beginner sized telescope. Uh, so let's get to it. The Orion Nebula is a bright and beautiful active star forming region. I got my fellow astronomer here with me. He's gonna help me find the Orion Nebula. There, there we go. We got the Orion Nebula in here. It appears as this really bright gray glow. You can make some shape out in it. And it's actually like quite big in the field of view too. So is this telescope worth the money? The clear answer is yes. The amount of money that you put in these things are very little and they give back amazing views. Especially for any beginner that is looking to get into astronomy, these little telescopes can really do a lot. These, these things can really get you hooked and interested in astronomy. The dimmest objects I did see with this telescope are M81 and M82. The Bodes and Cigar Galaxy. These galaxies are millions of light years away and they are very dim and yet this thing can pick them up and they picked them up pretty good. And I was also looking at them in the worst condition possible. They were low on the horizon. So I was looking into light polluted skies in a certain direction 
and I was looking through hundreds of miles of atmosphere for them being low on the horizon. And even with that of poor conditions, they still look absolutely amazing. This telescope will give more back than you put into it. I think that wraps it up. I will link this telescope in the description. I hope you guys have a good day and goodbye.